Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at how we can visualize our project, our solution, our code using code maps in Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have it. So, you can visualize dependencies across code project solutions by creating code map. So the code maps help you see how the code fits together without reading through your files and line of code and lines of code, obviously. So in Visual Studio, you can map dependencies for code in these languages, C Sharp or Visual Basic in solution or assemblies native or managed C or C++ code in Visual C++ projects. So X++ projects and assemblies made from .NET modules from Microsoft Dynamic AX. So enough of all of this, so let's get to it again. So we can get started by actually opening a Visual Studio installer. So the code maps only works for Visual Studio Enterprise or the professional version. So bear that one in mind. So as you can see here, I've got Visual Studio Enterprise 2019 installed. So we click on the modify. So inside here, we click on the individual components. So here we scroll down, we scroll down all the way to code twos. So here we will check on this box code maps, DGML editor. Yeah, th th we, we actually check on these two boxes. So we download and install them. So once we actually, we've, we're done with that, then we come inside of Visual Studio. So obviously we can create a new, we can click on the start window, create a new project and we can select um, the language to be C-sharp. And then um, we look for the console application, right? It should be somewhere around. We can type it, console app. So I will just type console, we should get it. Uh, we can type Windows, we can look for Windows here. So as you can see, I'm, I'm not getting the C-sharp up here. So I'm just going to click on this bit here because I've got it here. So console call. So you can click next, go through the usual stuff and create your new console app. And then you come inside here. So this is the console app application that I actually created. And inside it, I've actually created three folders. The first folder is domains. So inside the domains, I've got I've got product product.cs and then I've got these properties inside. So I've got public int product ID, public string, product name, and a double price. So they all get set up. So I've also got the repository folder which I've got iproduct repository.cs, which is an interface, so it's a public interface, iproduct repository. And I've got this void add products. And a collection of products get products right then i've got one last bit here folder logics which in it i've got this um, is a public class product manager which inherits from the iproduct repository this one so it actually inherits from the iproduct repository here so basically we've actually implemented the the add product method and then the get products method. So I've actually added this private field here, which is observable collection, which is inside system.collection.object model. So here I've got the, this field as products, underscore products, yeah? So I've got this check in here. So if the product is empty, then we add this free product. Then we can add this incoming product here so it's not really important here this is just to show how we can actually show dependencies on the code map so 
once we've got this bit sorted out then we can right click the solution so once we click on the right click um, I mean once we right click the solution we can see here show on code map and then we so basically we can actually start showing from the solution level or the project level so we can also right click the project and we can also show on code map then we can show we can show um, the, we can right click on the folder and on the code as well I mean on the file itself as well so what we do is we click on the first folder and then we click on the show on code map so as you can see here, we've got code map one dot dgml created so here we can actually expand the product so as you can see here now so we've got the domain and then we've got the products uh, with that we've got this the product constructor and then with the three properties right so we can also right click on this repository logic I mean repository folder and then click on show on map so we should get that one as well so it's console app 2 dot repository being shown so we can actually expand the repository so as you can see here it's actually pointing to whatever um, dependencies that is shown we will actually drag them out so that we can view them properly so the last bit is we right click the logics folder and show on code map so as you can see here now we've also got this bit pointing to whatever dependencies that is actually dependent on we can drag them out out of the console app dll so as you can see now we can drag both the three um, the three folders out so so as you can see now we've got a console app dot dll separated from these three folders so as you can see now we can actually visualize the properties the methods and and actually the field inside uh, the folders so with this bit here you can easily analyze your project or your solution by visualizing them this actually makes it very easier if you're not the one that actually started with the coding and you want to continue from someone's code yeah so as i said earlier on you can also use these code maps on um, c++ and manage or native c++ project inside a visual c++ i mean the visual c++ project right and you can also use this on a visual basic projects as well yeah so i hope actually this gets you started to to actually work on your code maps and being able to visually understand your project so once again yeah i'll leave this video here and i hope you can work on to explore further right so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because i've got lots of videos coming up and i hope you have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are Peace.